Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. We are live here today on Saturday. Um, please get involved in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys and how you're feeling regarding all the transfer activity around Arsenal at the moment. Um, first of all, I've got to say big up to uh, Spain, who made it through to the uh, semi-finals of the Euros and also to Italy. And um, good luck to England for later on, 100%. But well done to Italy. Um, beating Belgium by two goals to one. They look some team Italy. Um, one player who didn't figure last night but is still on Arsenal's radar is Manuel Locatelli a Sassuolo. Um, you know, th there's still lots and lots of rumours around Arsenal signing him. And it looks like they might have got a little pathway towards signing him. Um, if you listen to, I, I did an interview the other day with Fabrizio Romano and uh, Fabrizio Romano saying, listen, um, Juventus is the team that he really would like to sign for. Um, and of course, we know from during the week that uh, the CEO of Sassuolo, uh, Giovanni uh, Carnavalli, said that uh, Arsenal had put a bid in for Locatelli. Now, Arsenal apparently have denied that and said they haven't actually put a bid in yet, but they are very interested in the player. And as I said, Fabrizio Romano said his preferred destination is Juventus and that Juventus are interested in him. However, um, it was really interesting to see yesterday that uh, the new sporting director of Juventus, uh, Federico uh, Cherubini, he said that, um, or he hinted, that maybe Juventus might not make any signings at all this summer. Um, these are his quotes. He says, uh, we arrived from a few seasons where we made important and targeted, in, targeted investments um, that put us in a position to reach the beginning of the season with a competitive team. We may not even carry out a transfer market because we believe we have a competitive team and our idea is in our coach. So could Locatelli not be going to Juventus, which then that opens up the door for Arsenal definitely making a move because they're the first team that have really gone in hard for Locatelli. So you see that as a positive? I, I think that is a positive. You know, listen, I, I'm not 100% convinced that a team like Juventus are not going to make any signings in the transfer window. Um, however, he is hinting that they may not make any or may make very few or we know that, you know, Juventus like to do loans. If Arsenal put the cash on the table, they might be able to get their man. Of course, the person they're trying to replace is Granit Xhaka. Now that Switzerland are um, definitely out of the Euros, knocked out yesterday, Granit Xhaka didn't feature. He was suspended for that game. Um now it's going to hot up on what happens with Granit Xhaka. It does look like he will be moving to Roma, although there's been late interest from other teams. PSG said to be the latest team that are very interested in signing Granit Xhaka, but it does look like Granit Xhaka, um, his future is going to be sorted out now that the Euros are over and that he will be heading out of the club. Um, we know that the you know one of the players that are going to be replacing him is Albert Sambi Lokonga, um, who should um, hopefully uh, put pen to paper next week and hopefully we'll get an announcement on that one next week. Um, but it, def it definitely does look like uh, Albert Sambi Lokonga, that, that's more or less done and that he's going to be coming in. And the other one that we all sort of, you know, worst kept secret out there at the moment, he was in London uh, yesterday apparently getting his medical and uh, it's done. Well... <laughs> Maybe I should be a bit careful about doing that because I've done that before and it hasn't happened. But Nuno Tavares is going to be signing for Arsenal, left back from Benfica. Um, he was in London yesterday and um, that's another done deal. I heard that actually, I think it was Rio Sociedad at the last minute. We're trying to kind of hijack the deal, but it is done and he will be um, signing for Arsenal. That one could be announced anytime now. What about Ben White? Again, Spoke about this one a couple of days ago that, um, you know, there's teams trying to hijack this. Everton interested. Manchester City said to be interested as well. But all the signs are showing that he's going to sign for Arsenal. Um, people around him, friends and that, are saying, no, nope, he's dead set on Arsenal. Arsenal will be where he's heading. And that um, 
Ben White will become an Arsenal player. And again, that's going to be a big, big money sign-in. Said to be around 50 million, could be even more by the time you finish with all the add-ons and that. And that's going to be a major, major investment by Arsenal. Of course, as we've been saying a lot, where does that leave William Saliba? The rumours are that William Saliba is going out on another loan. We know that his representatives were um, in the country at the Arsenal training ground uh, talking to um, Arsenal and talking to Arteta and Edu about his future. Uh, they've made it quite clear to him that, you know, listen, um, we don't want to sell you, but it's looking like another loan move. And he's said to be heading out on loan to Marseille. That seems to be his preferred destination for another season. Free loan moves for this kid now. <sighs> if I was him, I would be fed up to the back teeth. You know, you, you you move to Arsenal, huge fee, £27 million. You see a powerful Fana who's gone to Leicester and is doing great things. And it's just loan after loan. St. Etienne, Nice, and now probably going to uh, Marseille. When he comes back off that loan, he'll only have two years left on his contract. It'd be interesting if he does go on that loan to see if he does actually say, right, you know what? You're ready now. Sign you know, want you to sign an extension. He'd probably just say, oh, stick his two fingers up and say, get lost. Get me out of this club. But um, I, I, I do feel sorry for him. I really do feel sorry for him. But it does look like he is going to be heading out for another loan. Another player that Arsenal are interested in is this guy, Guido Rodriguez of Real Betis, a holding midfielder. Um, reports are that Arsenal submitted a bid of uh, £25.5 million but that was turned down. He has a release clause, apparently, of around about, um, sorry, £68 million is his release clause. Um, Arsenal, obviously, not looking to pay anywhere near that. But um, Guido Rodriguez being linked with Arsenal, we know, again, um, it's the, the Granite Xhaka thing. We're going to be losing Granite Xhaka. We're going to be losing Lucas Torreira, probably Guendouzi as well. The midfield area is going to be short, and especially that sort of uh, holding type midfielder. And again, he's another guy that's been identified as somebody who can come in and fill that position. One player Arsenal definitely are not going to be signing is Andre Silva of Eintracht Frankfurt. He's been linked with Arsenal. All transfer window as a possible um, replacement for Alexander Lacazette. Scored 28 goals last season. He has signed for RB Leipzig. So that will not be happening we will not be signing Andre Silva. He's gone to RB Leipzig. That was confirmed yesterday. So that is another one off the Arsenal radar. And what about Aaron Ramsdale, who's been linked with Arsenal heavily, um, along with Sander Berg um, from Sheffield United. Those two players getting linked heavily with Arsenal. Um, the new Sheffield United manager, Slavisa Jovanovic, um, he's claimed that both of them ain't going anywhere. He said he's going to sit down with both of them. Um, we know that Aaron Ramsdale's at the Euros. Um, we know that that manager's just taken over. And he's basically saying, listen, um, once they're all back and, you know, in, in here, I'm going to be sitting down with him and I want to keep both players. He's saying, in particular with Aaron Ramsdale, we only signed him last year. We do not want to sell him. So <laughs> for me personally, that's good news because I, I don't get that one. There's a few signings I'm not really understanding at the moment. A new goalkeeper. I know we need a number two, but Ramsdale's going to not come in as a number two, is he? So, you know, and I know DT, if you want to watch the All Guns Blazing podcast, you'll see that uh, DT is definitely not a fan of uh, <laughs> of Ramsdale. So um, let's get into some of uh, what you guys have got to say. Uh, Youssef says, no Ramsdale. Um, Mohammed says, uh, free Saliba. A lot of you saying that. A lot of you saying um, free Saliba. You're not really, um, you're not really feeling him at all. You're not really feeling Ramsdale. Um, this guy says, I, I can't explain it. I don't want Aaron Ramsdale. I don't know what this, listen, we don't watch him every single week, right? We don't watch him every single week. I, I, all I know is that when I've seen him, he ain't looked great. Um, we've got a decent goalkeeper. In Leno, I think he could have had a better season last year. I don't think it was his a vintage season for him, but I still have a bit of faith in him, and I I, I just don't understand 
No, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. I really don't get it. Um, suggestion for a goalkeeper here: Jan Sommer says uh, Yash. Of course, he 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 done brilliantly for uh, Switzerland at the Euros. Um, where's he, Jan Sommer? I think he's Borussia Mönchengladbach, isn't he? Um, but uh, yeah, do we need a goalkeeper? I mean, we need a number two goalkeeper. But do we? Do we need a, um, because as I said, he ain't going to come in as a number two. He's going to want to be a number one. So do we need that? Jim says, hi, Robbie. Love from Hong Kong. I think Arsenal won't buy any right back as Arteta considers Chambers as his first choice right back. I think we will buy a right back, Jim, especially um, if Bellerin goes. I know Chambers was playing there. I still think we'll buy a right back. Um, we, we, we definitely need a right back. I'm sorry. Um, Callum Chambers filled in okay there, but for me, it's still not, for me, a natural right back. Somebody's going to get up and down the, the wing, you know, wing backs, really, basically. He's not really a wing back. He, he done well in that position, filling in, and you keep him in there to fill in, but for me, nah. Um Jack says, uh, hey, Robbie, I'm a big fan from New Zealand. I think we should keep Saliba and spend 50 million on a CAM or CM, CDM instead of Ben White. Well, we're buying Ben White. <laughs> That's the thing about it. We're buying Ben White. Um, Francis says, Renato Sanchez looked brilliant in the Euros. Um, I wouldn't wouldn't be against that at all. I think he's a good signing. Um Another one uh, here, Dean, he says, bring in um, Renato Sanchez. Um, Stephen says, right, Robbie, we need a goalkeeper who can distribute. I know the distribution of Bern Leno could be better, right? But Aaron Ramsdale is not better than Leno. Not feeling him. Sorry. Aftab says, hi, Robbie, big Gunners fan from Australia. We should buy Renato Sanchez. A lot of you here... Um, saying Sanchez. Uh, Abinav says, uh, what happens if we buy Locatelli based on the Euros and he turns up to be a Hamis Rodriguez of the World Cup and nothing after? Well, I think the thing is with uh, Locatelli, Abinav, is that even before the Euros, we were very interested um, in signing him. That was even before the Euros even kicked off. He'd been identified as a player that would be very, very good in that midfield. So, I think it's almost like the fact that he's shown what he can do in the Euros even more sort of cements the fact that, you know, he would be a great player to sign. So I don't think this, like, it's a of unknown player that's just, you know, emerged in the Euros and we're all raving about. Um, tackle taken slowly. Pitford says, if he, Eves, Basuma or Sanchez should be a priority as Partey can screen for them and they can progress the ball forward. I agree with you. That, that those One of those two I'd be more than happy with. Um, GGTV4U says, James Tavernier, right back from Rangers, is sensational. He's 29, but had 19 goals and 16 assists. He's definitely a sensation. Um, James Tavernier, a player that I've seen play um, quite a few times, is a good player. Um, 29 is... Depends what you're buying for. If you're buying for the future, do you buy a 29-year-old right back um brandon says uh sam johnson we want sam johnson i'll tell you what out of the out of the uh those sort of young goalkeeper english goalkeepers he's the one that i really like you know i i would i would, I would much prefer him i'll tell you i really like him um so let's do this one we're gonna we're gonna db says we're gonna regret uh nelson and saliba um i, I wouldn't you, you know you might be right on that uh, Bryce says, Robbie, go to f to the Florida Cup. We would love to meet you and the crew. Been watching for years. Would love to come. Still thinking about it. We always do all the American trips, but of course we're in a crazy time at the moment. We're still trying to find out the details around, you know, how long do you have to quarantine? And yeah, unfortunately, you know, for us traveling over to the US, uh, US on the on the uh, Amber list. And there's a lot of things that go with that. But we're, we're trying. We're trying. Um, so you never know. You might see us. Kane says, uh, hey, Robbie, big up from Australia. Who would you rather, Locatelli, Renato Sanchez, or Basuma? And thoughts on the Spinozola injury. I so, so, felt so sorry for Spinozola yesterday. He's been sensational. 
in these Euros. He really has. He's been brilliant. And the fact that, that you know, it's a hamstring, he's out. He's not going to be able to play in the final if Italy gets there. He's absolutely gutted. You've got to feel it for the player. Locatelli, Renato Sanchez or Basuma? Oh, that's a tough one. I think I'll probably go Basuma. I like Renato Sanchez. I think him playing in the league before he do well. Um, any of those. Locatelli's been brilliant as well. Any, any. Um, Andy Arsenal says uh, Kroenke and Ebu sabotage Edu, sorry, sabotaging Arsenal. Um, why did we sign Nuno Tavares? Um, he insulted his teammate online and had a rival club tattoo that riles up the whole fan base. To my understanding, it's not the right profile. Well, I have seen all those things. You know, he's 21, he's young. Yeah, they, I'm sure they would have looked at certain things and uh, and hopefully, um, yeah, because there is there does seem to be a bit of baggage that goes with him, but let's hope that he's turned a corner on those things. You know, these... I forget we forget sometimes some of these players um are very young. Um and you know they they can do some stupid things when they're younger. Let's hope this is the case. Uh Oscar says, Hey Robbie, big up from Iraq. Big up, bro. Um, Middle East says, What about the Madison story on Instagram? I haven't seen that one, but obviously Madison, a player of a uh, real interest um to Arsenal. Um, you know. He'd be a great signing. He'd be a great signing, but how much would that cost? Leicester want a king's ransom for that. Um, we need some of that Middle East money to buy <laughs> to buy him, right? Um, Grant says, Tabs, I can see from his, uh, Grant McRoberts here, I can see from his avatar that he's a, a Rangers fan. He says, Tav is not for sale. If you want him, give us 26 million and then we'll talk. Wait, are, are you negotiating for Rangers now, are you, Tav? Grant, sorry. Uh, but yeah, he obviously loves uh, Tavernier. Good player, good player, Tavernier. And of course, they had a great season last year, Rangers. Mark T says, uh, with another super chat, he says, uh, big up Jeremy Doku. He looks quality for Belgium when playing um, Italy. Maybe a replacement on the left side. Because the Bamiyang isn't getting any younger. I'll tell you what, that Doku looked really good yesterday. I, I think I saw a stat where he had more dribbles than any other player um, in the French league last season. He plays for Rennes. And, you know, in a league that's got Neymar and's got Mbappe and players like that, that's quite impressive. And he did look good. Um, in the Euros, Doku. Um, Faisal says, uh, not sure about Locatelli. I'd rather Basuma, Premier League ready. We can't trust trust uh, these competitions to judge players. If Xhaka played for Gladbach and we saw his performance, we'd be screaming to sign him. Faisal, Faisal, sorry. And that's a great point, mate. Brilliant point. That is true. You know, you see players in this tournament. If you saw Xhaka for the first time, you would be saying, let's get him. Um, Buckney says, uh, why not go for David Ray? I don't think uh, Brentford would be looking to sell David Ray. We were in for him last year and it didn't happen. Um, Balsa says, Madison and Renato are playing with us on Instagram. I know they keep all dropping these little hints here and hints there. Yeah, I, I think a lot of them sometimes they are bored and start playing with us. I, I do think Madison, I do think Madison would be up for a move to Arsenal though. I really do. You know, you, your profile's... It's no disrespect to Leicester. It's just the reality. I've said this before. You play for Arsenal, even though we're not even going to be in Europe next year, your profile's bigger than playing for Leicester. Simple as that. At this moment in time, we're a bigger club. Um, Lachlan says, uh, Lokongo, Tavares and White are great first signings. Our priority should now be a right-back and midfielder such as Madison. We won't get Locatelli. Well... Locatelli, we know his preference is to stay in Italy, go to Juventus. However, as I said, you know, um, you know, and, and that's from the, the mouth of the new sporting director at Juventus. They're saying they may not even buy anybody um, this summer. And if that was the case, then, you know, maybe Arsenal can make a move. But listen, a long way to go. Um, Harris says, uh, Willian rejects in a Miami contract offer. Yes. Willian after more wages, it's going to be a problem to get rid of him because of the amount of money that he's on. Whoever sanctioned that deal 
for Willian, which it looks like it was Edu. That's one of the worst bits of business I've ever seen, you know. Um, and now we're stuck with him. Glenn says this season we need to we need Premier League proven, ready to go instantly. Nobody high profile coming to Arsenal as we're not in Europe. Get your um, heads round this, guys. Well, not necessarily. I don't agree. Premier League ready, I agree with you. We need Premier League ready players. But, um, yeah, yeah I, listen, you, you, somebody like a Locatelli, I, I'd be well up for signing a player like that. Um, Wesby, Webbs SYHD with a super chat. He says, people moaning about Ben White, not a priority, not a priority. Big clubs sign big players, whether they need them or not to stop the small club. So stop the small club mentality. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Let me just make it clear. I'm not against the Ben White signing, right? Ben White is a quality player, is an up-and-coming player, um, and you're buying a future, player that's going to be big in the future. But I am still upset about Saliba, and I'm going to wait and see what happens right till the end of the window. If we get Ben White, we get the holding midfielder we want, we get the attacking midfielder we want, and we get the right back. We know we're getting a left back with this um, kid that's coming in, Tavares. Then I'll be happy. And I will accept Saliba going out on loan, and I'll be happy then. If we don't get those players and we've gone and done all our money on Ben White, I will not be happy. Because then I'll look on it and I'll say, we didn't deal with the priority. And I've seen Arsenal do this before. We did it when we signed Pepe. Don't get me wrong, I love watching Pepe play. He's a great player. I think he's going to be, next season, going to be real breakout season, I feel, for him. But did we need Pepe at the time when we signed him? We didn't. We needed other players. We needed a creative midfielder. We needed a holding midfielder. We didn't get it. And this is the problem with Arsenal. We do this a lot. We don't deal with the priorities. So it's not anything on Ben White. He's quality and we want... You're right. We need quality players to come in. And for those quality players, they bring the team up. The more of those you get, they bring the team up. But priorities, you know, we're not Man City where we can go and stockpile all these players. Priorities first. Amory says, we keep saying these players were linked to our great players that will improve our squad. We said that about Kolasinac, Czech, Mustafi, etc. Who said that about Kolasinac? Who said that about Mustafi? Who said that about Czech? Weren't any of the fans. I know that, right? Some of the players that we're getting linked with now, the profile's different. They're younger. They're, impro they're players that will come and improve Arsenal. That's what we want. You know, Ben White will improve Arsenal at the back, right? Um, Locatelli would improve Arsenal. You know, it's more dynamic than what we have, you know? Um, so I think there's a difference there. Um, Football Champ says Guido Rodriguez is average. He's too slow for the Premier League, okay? You would have seen a lot more of him than me. He had a great season last year. Um, so, you know, that's the other thing. I mean, listen, we all want Premier League-ready players, but it doesn't mean that you can't buy a player from out of the Premier League and he can't come in and hit the ground running. Um, this guy says, if we talk about being the future process, get more funds into the youth academy. Well, listen, you know what? The youth academy is actually doing well. That's one area where, you know, we have been producing some good players, um, including Emil Smith-Rowe, you know, who like, you know, see Villa, how much money they're trying to buy him for. Uh, Gazman says, Don Robbie, Basuma is a perfect replacement for Xhaka and not Locatelli. I would love Basuma. You, everybody knows my thoughts on Basuma. Forty million pounds. Are we going to make that move for Basuma? Um, I guess when you see a Locatelli, is a bit more progressive than a Basuma. Basuma's your your out and out defensive midfielder. Locatelli picks the ball up, drives forward a bit more, you know. So, um, Paul says uh, we need to start selling the rubbish we have and start looking for a manager at the same time. It's the only going one way. Arteta out. Well. He's got a job this season. Got to give him a chance. Simple as that. Got to give him a chance. Um, and uh, yeah, speed B three S 
15 says, uh, when is Aziz going to get a chance? Maybe, you know, we'll see Aziz maybe in the League Cup. Um, hopefully he gets a chance this season. He really does look good. Wouldn't surprise me if we see Dan Aziz going out on loan, though. Uh, ggtv for you says uh, Locatelli is on £22,000 a week wages. I can't see any reason we can't turn his head with a decent wage pack. Well, he'd be on way more than that if he comes to Arsenal. And, um, yeah, I mean, money talks. We know that. Sean Mitchy says Locatelli is all action. I like Locatelli. Um, you know, as I said, you know, this is not a guy that Arsenal are just going off the, based on the tournament. They've been scouting him for a while and they see him as perfect. So um, this guy says Tavares is not rated by Benfica fans. Tavares, Nuno Tavares is coming in as a backup left back. Let's remember that. So he's coming in as a backup left back. He'll have time to learn his trade. And um, let's see what he's like. I can't tell you that I know a lot about him. I remember he played against us in the Europa League. Um, we're going to find out how good he is, you know? Um, Dean says, uh, big up Saka. Good luck for today. Our star boy. I hope he can get on today. Uh, there's, there were rumors that he's carrying a little knock from training. So he could miss out of the starting lineup tonight, but listen, I've been so proud to be watching this kid play. Um, and he's making every Arsenal fan proud right now. You know, I mean, we've got a player in the squad who's a big part of the squad as well. He's played two games already and let's hope he gets a game tonight. Um, Alas says, uh, Arsenal have Basuma as a plan B, Robbie. And I like that if they don't rate Basuma, they must have a, a bigger target for midfield. Well, they better do. Because he's there. From what I understand, he would love to come to Arsenal. But we're not looking at him at the moment. With ben White is our priority. Um, Elijah says, hey, DR, uh, thanks for keeping um, the summer interesting with great content. I'd like to hear what would be your one to five year plan to get us into the big times again. Oh, thank you, Elijah. One to five year plan. The plan is to, to me, my, my, my plan to get Arsenal back to the big time is, um, get rid of the owners, but <laughs> right now it all seriously, right? Because we know that ain't happening right now at this moment in time. So, they need to strengthen the spine of the team first. That's for me. The spine of the team is an absolute priority, right? So defense, right, is not too bad, but we need a right back. I'm glad that they're bringing in a backup left back. That's the right move. We need a right back, somebody dynamic, someone that's going to progress us up the pitch, someone's going to be exciting, right? Like a Lamptey, maybe. We need a defensive midfielder. Again, adding to the spine of that team, somebody that protects the back four, somebody that keeps us from conceding stupid goals and also can progress us up the pitch and someone who can mean that Thomas Partey can play. We need a creative player that is going to create chances for our very good front line attack. Look at some of the players, we, you know, I think Aubameyang will be better this season, but we've got to get him service. If we keep Lacazette, I think Lacazette scores goals and, of course, we've got to play Martinelli. And, of course, I feel Pepe will be big this season. So, for me, it's not about the glamour signings for me this season. Apart from maybe, say, that attacking midfielder. But the rest are sort of players strengthening up the spine of the team. And I want to see some more leaders in the team. I wouldn't be against a signing like a Marcel Sabitzer at Arsenal. Those kind of players with the right mentality that will dig us out of certain situations. So that would be my one to five year plan. That would be this year. Then every year we progress, you know what I mean? Then we look in, we've got to be looking ahead at that next big striker to bring in, you know? But I just want to see a spine to the team and quality added to it now and getting rid as well of some of the players that have been at Arsenal for a very, very long time and quite frankly have not delivered. Um... Trousset says, if Arsenal had any ambition, they'll buy competition, not back up for left back. Whenever Tierney's injured, Tavares would be a third class cover. We will let's wait and see. Let's see what he's like. You know, um, we don't know that yet. He might be a quality player. I don't know enough about him, to be honest. Um, 
No Tooth says, uh, how did you react when the Italian players kept falling to the ground after the whole situation with Ericsson? It was terrible. Um, it's sort of the one with Immobile. I mean, come on, man. Ridiculous. Um, it happens in football. There's a lot at stake in these games. Teams are trying to, you know, run down the clock and stuff like that. The last 15 minutes of that game, there was a lot of that going on. But... Um, yeah, you know, when you when you think about what happened to Christian Eriksen, people faking injury right now does look terrible. Mark says, uh, sign Doku. A lot of you, after watching him play last night, uh, are really feeling him, was really direct, was a really, really good player. Um, uh, let's get a few more. Um, Sid says, people, don't forget we that we have no European football. We need to sell players before we can buy. We do need to sell players. Um, and we do not have European football, but that doesn't mean that, you know, we should slack off from buying the players that we need. We need to get back to playing European football. We ain't going to have those distractions this season for the first time ever. It's a time to reset and refresh, you know? Um, and, uh, unknown X says, Robbie, uh, big up from Morocco. I just wanted to say that people here ranting about the club strategy in the transfer market, but let me tell you something. Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, we need three more Makatos, right? It wasn't built in a day. Uh, the, the way these Cronkies are going, these like ain't built in about 13 years. You know, they've wasted a lot of years and done a lot of poor had a lot of made a lot of poor decisions. Let's hope they get their decisions right this time. Timmy says, Robbie, will you be doing another video like the Partey darts when Arsenal signed Ben White? <laughs> no. <laughs> but big up Ben White if he comes in. Listen, we'll be right behind him. Um, Jason says, uh, Robbie, do you think Basuma sitting behind Partey and Locatelli would work better than playing um, a number 10? I want to see a creative player in there. We lacked creativity last season. It was so obvious until Smith Rowe sort of came in in that position. And he's not a super creative player. He's dynamic. And when Ordegaard came in, we saw creativity up until that. I don't know if you remember. It was shocking. Um, Moshin says Lacazette is better than Andre Silva. You see, this is the thing, Moshin, and... I, I, you know, I was having an argument with, well, not an argument, a discussion with a friend about this yesterday. And um, you make a great point. I don't want Arsenal as well going out and buying players that ain't better than what we've already got. Right. So you're right. Andre Silva, is he better than Lacazette? I'd rather give Lacazette a one year extension, right, on a lower wage than go out and spend. 50, 60 million on a player that's not better than him, you know? So I, 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 we've got to be very careful in the decisions we make now. We've made so many mistakes in the transfer market, right? I want them to bring in the right players. Get it right. It's so important this time. Shadman393 says, Robbie, big up from Canada. Did you hear about uh, Love, Island, Love Island star? Charlie Brake, very close to Madison, posted on his story with Madison saying he's coming to Arsenal. Well, we've heard a lot of these things before. Let's wait to see. I mean, you know, if we're going to base our transfer activity off of somebody in Love Island, uh, my daughter would love that. Um, Ferras says, uh, if the Cronkies bought all the players we need and everyone was happy, then the players flop. Will you still blame the Cronkies? United fans do. Um, well, no, listen, well, let, let, let him do that first and then we, uh, and I'll answer that. <laughs> you know, we need to, you know, um, Kyle says, uh, we need to keep Willock. I agree. I want to see Willock stay. I really do. Um, Aftab says, uh, Frankie de Jong or Koke will be a great midfield addition. Let's get him. I think Koke possibly, no way are they going to sell Frankie de Jong. Um, soldier chimp says, uh, midfield free parte, Basuma, Locatelli. That's enough creativity to sort us out. Right. I'm going to do a couple more. Um, people from all over the world here today. Big up Noah. He says, Robbie, um, who do you think we should get at right back? In my opinion, um, really back. Who's our best option? 
Big up from Sweden. Um, Bakri says, why can't we get the white deal done? I don't believe that nonsense that he's in the England squad. Uh, look at Man United with Sancho, same situation. Well, I, I, listen, the, the, there's deals that can get done whilst players are away, but I think you can believe the fact that sometimes when the player is away, it does hinder the deal being completed. So I wouldn't, you know. Um, Neil says, uh, Robbie, uh, why would Lacazette sign a one-year extension and agree a lower wage? Are you mad? He will either run his contract down or we will sell him for very little and be upset again. Well, listen, we it's about talking to the player. It's about talking to the player and seeing, you know. So, you know. Um, Leachy says, uh, signing Ben White is an excellent signing. Remember Gary Cahill, Chelsea signed him from Bolton years ago and he became a defensive hero at the club. Finally, Arsenal doing deals with a serious vision. I do like that fact that, you know, they are looking to the future with some of these players. Following says Ramos to Arsenal. I saw that rumor. Very, very, very unlikely. It's, it looks like he's definitely uh, going all the way to PSG. Um, Aiden says uh, love from Scotland. Tavernier is a top player and would improve that right back spot. He would. Um, Bufa Buka says uh, bless from Nigeria. Arteta still want Coutinho. <sighs> You know what? A year or so ago, I would have. Now he has so many injuries, man. I'm not too sure. Alas says, uh, this is the last chance for Arteta, and I hope he proves us wrong. Big up from Tunisia. Yep, <laughs> you're right there. Um, from Jamaica, this one come in. Um, big up Jan Dan Yut. Um, He says, Robbie, have you seen Argentina's Rodrigo de Paul? He's a top um, central midfielder. My concern is is that we have not sold anyone yet. I think Rodri... Where is he going? Rodrigo de Paul. I think he's already done a deal to go somewhere. I can't remember which clubs um, got him, but, yeah, we've missed out on Rodrigo de Paul. Um, JXY says, uh, no one talking about Reese Nelson. We've been talking about him here on the show, and um, I do feel that Reese Nelson will be going out either on loan or will be sold this summer. Apparently, he doesn't want to sign... Um, well, a lot of the talk is he doesn't want to sign a new contract. Who blames him? He's not getting a chance. So he could be on his way out, or it might be another loan again. He's had a lot of loans as well. Quasim says, hey, Robbie, big up from Pakistan. Big up yourself, bro. He says, I think Xhaka should not be sold for less than £30 million. I agree with you. You know, When I see like some of the fees being banded around for certain players, and £17 million for Xhaka, I think we should be getting at least 25 for him. But it does look like that is going to happen and that Xhaka will be going. Remember Xhaka, maybe one of the reasons why um, Arsenal were willing to let him go from for not a mega fee is because he's on very high wages at Arsenal. And it's that compromised way of getting rid of a player who's got huge wages. Um, Gazmen says, uh, big, from, um, big Albania, big up Albania got enough Albanian brethren. He said, if you want uh, top four, go for Madison, Dumfries, Ben White, and Basuma. And uh, there was, oh, I missed that one. Uh, Neil, thank you, Neil. He says, DePaul is going to Atletico Madrid. That's who I was thinking of. Well done. Thanks for, for putting me out, um, right on that one. Um I said the last couple, there's so many coming in. He says, why are we trying to sign a new player when we have Guendouzi? He fits the bill perfectly. Arteta is too stubborn when we know that Arteta doesn't fancy him, doesn't really want him around. Doesn't like Guendouzi is going to be going. Talented player. Again, we did this uh, podcast on it a couple of weeks ago and I was saying, you know, do we are we sure that Arteta's good at handling some of these young players? Uh, Jack says, uh, Robert, your thoughts on Sabitza for around 15 million, I think, uh, should be our number one target. I agree. I would definitely bring him in. I think as a player that would do very, very well in the premier league. I, I really like him as a player. Right. Last one now. Um, well, that was Sabitza as well. Who am I going to go for as the last one? Uh, scrolling scrolling there's so many there's so many who's gonna get it who's gonna get this last one who's gonna uh let's go this guy here osval because he says big up from denmark 
we still really need a right back. Um, and you're right, Osval. We definitely need a right back. And big up to you, Osval. Good luck to Denmark today. It's been a great story. What you guys have done in the Euros um, after what happened to Christian Eriksen. I've loved their support. So big up to Denmark. Might get you in the semi-finals, hopefully, if we can do our job. And then I can't big you up after that. <laughs> then we're going to need to beat you. But um, uh, here's one more super chat. Um, Chris Bevan says, Don Robbie, I just want Arsenal to play well. Listen, thank you very much for today. Um, thanks for all of your comments. Really, really enjoyed it. Good luck to England today. Good luck to Pakaya Saka. Hopefully he gets onto the pitch. Hopefully England. I mean, the whole nation is buzzing right now. It'd be awesome if we can get that result against Ukraine. And then you never know, maybe a semi-final against Denmark. Um, that'd be great. And let's go all the way to the finals. And hopefully, on top of that, Arsenal get a load of great signings done. Thanks for watching the show. Don't forget to subscribe here to AFTV. Um, don't forget to leave your comments as well. Loving all the comments that you guys leave. I really do. I try and read as many as I can. Really do appreciate it. So keep leaving those and I'll see you tomorrow.